Hi, I'm Ramin. And I'm Dan. And this is another episode of Fun Fact Friday. He doesn't even try anymore. It's just <laughs> Yes, I've just given up. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sad. Yeah. Anyway, so we're come we've come back to you again with another episode of completely time wasting stuff. It's Friday, it's time to have some fun. And yeah. why not? Yeah, mm-hmm. why not, right? Uh, so grab yourself a beer, grab yourself a glass of wine, uh, put your feet up and right. let us waste your time for a little bit. <laughs> you sit down. <laughs> So here we go with, we begin with Dan with some fun facts. Rock and roll, baby. So I came up with a, a bunch of facts uh, and they weren't very fun. So I decided to go back to the beginning and uh-huh. do fun yeah. facts. Yeah, you missed so, out on that first word, fun. I did, I did. <laughs> and I apologize. <laughs> so uh, here is a, a, hopefully more fun. Uh, did you know that apparently there are more possible iterations in a game of chess than there are atoms in the known universe. Really? 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 I mean, really? I, I understand there's a <laughs> lot of permutations. More atoms than in the whole universe? That's a, a lot of iterations. Yeah, I'm not so sure, but okay. We'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll take this on face value for the moment. <laughs> yes, yes. Let's not fact check that one. Yeah, there's a, yeah. Facebook, don't fact check this. Uh, that's okay. They don't fact check anything anyway. Uh, <laughs> in Japan, Ronald McDonald is called Donald McDonald due to a lack of a clear R sound in the Japanese language. Hmm. Yes, that makes sense. You know, yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I had a Japanese, I, I took Japanese for a while in college and he says, do you know how you say McDonald's hamburger in Japanese? I said, how? He goes, maku donaru do hamubaga. Hmm. They, everything has to have a syllable. Ah. And, it, and the syllable must end in a vowel. Okay. It's interesting, right? Yeah. So, yeah. donaru do, maku donaru do. Donaru do maku donaru do. <laughs> yeah. All right, moving on. <laughs> and they say English is confusing. No, English, uh, is, English is messed up. Don't even get me started on that. So my, my wife is Vietnamese. Uh, birth, and uh-huh. uh, that language is all inflection. Yes. So like ma, 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 ma are all completely different words. Different words. And, yeah, and meaning completely <laughs> different things. And so you can, it's very, very easy. <laughs> To make a mistake. <laughs> to, to step afoul, as they say. <laughs> yes, yes. So anyway, not going to go anyway. there. Um, Cleopatra, apparently, uh, again, I put the apparently, lived closer in time to the moon landings than to the construction of the Great Pyramid of Giza. Okay, I yeah. can see that. Uh, depending on yeah. where you where you put the... The middle line, right? The, the it's just, it's, is she on that side of the middle line or that side of the middle line? Where right. is that? Yeah. So we need to figure yes. out where that is. But apparently, she's closer to the moon landing than to the original construction of the pyramids. Yes, indeed. Right here. Okay. So I have a good one for you. Good. Also from Japan. Okay. Fart battles. Are we gonna get? Are we gonna get hate mail for this? <laughs> we're gonna get hate mail for this. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fart battles were apparently a big thing, big thing during the Edo period <laughs> in Japan. There are like wall-mounted scrolls of people having fart battles and other people fanning stuff away. <laughs> I'll, I'll put That's a photo epic. of that. I'll, I'll put a. I'll put a graphic of that up here in a moment. Um, yeah. So apparently, this is a thing that uh, was. Is that what they use to occupy their time? Anyway, moving on. <laughs> I want to try and limit the hate mail if we can. You know, uh, that's one. Um... <laughs> What's the... yeah, okay, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just stop Just that. let it go, man. Okay. Let it go. <laughs> um, did you know that it can take a photon 40,000 years to travel from the core of the sun to the surface, but only eight minutes to travel the rest of the way to the Earth? Wow, I knew the eight minutes because I, the, any any bit of sunshine you see is eight minutes from eight minutes ago. Yep, yep. At all times, you're always eight minutes behind the clock. But because of the um, uh, the strong mag, it's, it's uh, magnetic fields. Magnetic think, fields, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It, it it loops, it bounces around, and loops around, and and, and takes 
and eventually yeah. there has to be an outburst event for for the photon to leave the sun yeah I mean, eventually eventually we'll uh make it out to the surface and then it's not restricted so correct hence the eight minutes interesting interesting in keeping with the previous one but somewhat similar a butt do you know what a butt is i do <laughs> <laughs> But why didn't you tell me? <laughs> we're, we're, we're trying to limit the hate mail. Yes, yes. A butt is a medieval unit of measure for wine and whiskey. Yes, yes. It's so a, it's as, a bigger as, barrel than a, than a kind of a, a regular sized wine barrel that you would you right, know, it's typically a, see. Right. And so it, it would be perfectly okay to walk into a wine cellar and say <laughs> something like, nice butt. <laughs> anyway. Slap. Slap. Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, moving on. Moving on. Moving on before people, <laughs> before the villagers show up with, with the pitchforks, pitchforks and, <laughs> and torches. Right. Moving on. And it would take, and somebody was very bored here, it would take 1.2 million mosquitoes, each sucking once, to completely drain the average human of blood. <laughs> what a horrific thought. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Um, one bite's bad have, enough. Yeah, one bite's bad enough. Let it be. Let it be. So, yeah. All right, moving on. Uh, this is a math one. Uh, if you have a pizza with a radius Z or Z and a thickness A, its volume can be calculated as pi times Z times Z times A. Therefore, pizza. <laughs> nerd alert. Nerd alert, nerd <laughs> alert, nerd alert. <laughs> well, um, did you know that a small percentage of the static that you see on a dead TV station is actually leftover radiation from the Big Bang? You're seeing the residual effects of the universe's creation. Wow, that's cool, man. Yeah. You know what would be cool is if you could filter out all the rest of the noise. It'd and just leave, like noise. It would still look <laughs> like noise, but it'd be yeah. interesting to see what it is. Yeah, what, I, yeah. what, I, what I love are people who have taken... Um, inbound solar radiation and uh, cosmic radiation and put it through software and had it converted it into audible frequencies. Mm. Mm. And it's like, you want to hear what a solar flare sounds like? It's like, there's actually a sound now to solar flares. And mm. <laughs> it's interesting. Some people Alrighty. have too much time on their hands. It, a lot of time. Yes. Uh, in Spanish, the word esposas means both wives and handcuffs. <laughs> keep the hate mail coming in. Keep it, uh, keep it coming. I didn't make this threats, stuff up. Uh, <laughs> <coming>. Next. <laughs> Pitchforks and torches coming your way. Stop digging, Ramin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to love my next one. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, <laughs> trying to climb out of this, uh, this hole. Don't bother. Um, did you know that written language is invented independently by the Egyptians? the Sumerians, the Chinese, and the Mayans. I guess we just needed <laughs> uh, writing at, uh, at the same time, and everyone just had that uh, inspirational thought. Yeah, mother of invention. It's interesting to see how they, they all came at, at it from a different perspective. Right. The alphabet, the sounds, all of that. You know, Symbols. Yeah. 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 They, 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 this, is, this, is a, this is an area of study for, for somebody who's you know, a polyglot and definitely into linguistics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I won't do my next one because there's enough pitchforks. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I do a second one? Or no, no, I've got one. I've got one for you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So in 2011, a woman bought a non-visible piece of art for $10,000. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, what was it? It's not visible. Who knows? Uh, it didn't have a description? No, just not <laughs> visible. Okay. But it was up for auction. Excellent. Excellent. And somebody Who's the artist? Doesn't say. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's a genius. That guy's a bloody genius, isn't he? <laughs> I've got a whole museum for non-visible art for, for sale. <laughs> <laughs> How stupid do you need to be? Anyway. Anyway, moving on. Okay. Um, if you were to remove all of the empty space from the atoms that make up every human on earth, yes, every human, the entire world population would fit into an apple. Wow, man. Yeah. 
That's, so what you're saying is we're just taking up too much damn space. <laughs> we're full of we're full of hot air. We're full we're of full nothing. of something. Yeah, um, <laughs> as you know, is evidenced on a daily basis. So I, I'm assuming what they're doing is is doing a uh, calculation where um, you, you crush things down to essentially a black hole. Uh, yeah, to a singularity, basically, or, or damn close to it. Yeah. So so black holes is another topic that I should really delve in a lot more, but it. it it's never sit well with me that you have uh, infinite anything. Um, it doesn't make any sense. And I know um, they can explain it with math, but it still doesn't make any sense to me personally. Anyway, right. uh, this is probably a, a neutron star or something like that, that, that level of crushing. Yeah, that, that level of crushing. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. exactly. Nerd alert. Nerd alert. Somebody get that man a beer. <laughs> uh, so in 2014... Mm-hmm. 2014, okay. 2014, speaking of museums, a pair of underpants donated by the mayor of Brussels was stolen from the Brussels Underpants Museum. Damn. <laughs> Who needs an underpants museum? I just want to know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. Yep. Yeah, well, I guess there is uh, fashion museums and, uh, and... And why choose that one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and how do you make that donation? <laughs> right, yes. Moving on. <laughs> In cash. That's how, that's how you make that donation. Um, did you know that honey does not spoil? Yes, I knew that. And you could feasibly eat 3,000-year-old honey just fine. It yes. would have crystallized by then, but <laughs> yes, it would have crystallized. But it can it can be reconstituted, and you can you can eat it. Isn't that However, amazing? yeah, it is it is amazing. However, it um, the, the have you ever heard that you can't give an infant less than twelve months old honey? Oh yes, yes, botulism yeah, because it has botul there's, there's botulinum toxin in it. Yeah, 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 and it's I, it's high enough concentration that it will kill a small child. But once you get to be an adult, yeah, I'm you can eat much. it with impunity. Yeah. Uh, pretty much anyone and your uh, wrinkles will disappear <laughs> yes yes oh, honey is an amazing uh, it's, it's an amazing substance substance yeah because it ha it's, it's an incredible healer as well yes, yes. Um, they've done studies where you know people that were had um, antibiotic uh, resistance to infections and, and wounds and stuff like that you know slather on um, honey and pure, wrap it pure honey yeah and and uh, it kills the bacteria Yes, it's incredible stuff. So. Yeah, it is. It is amazing stuff. It really is. And this is another reason we need to make sure we don't we don't uh, kill the beehives in our world. It, yes, it, yes. It, it actually impacts our ability to heal ourselves and to feed ourselves. Yeah, no, yeah. With, without without honeybees, a lot of our food doesn't get pollinated, so you don't exactly. get fruit and vegetables. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. stop doing the stuff that kills bees. We want bee barf. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> it is. It's, it is. Yeah. All right. So moving on. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> on her 120th birthday, the oldest person ever recorded said, I only have one wrinkle and I am sitting on it. <laughs> awesome. Uh, awesome. Gotta love that. Yep. Yeah. What are they, they going to do? Fire her? <laughs> um. If you somehow found a way to extract all the gold from our bubbling core of planet Earth, mm -hmm. you would be able to cover all of the land in a layer of gold up to your knees. Wow. Yes, a vast amount of gold in the core of our planet. That's amazing. Yep. Um, here's one. Uh, this has to do with soccer, the most, uh, most importantly, World Cup soccer. Uh, the Brazilian team has a gentleman whose name is Ronaldinho, mm. he, probably Dinho, Ronaldinho. Uh, he had a deal with Coca-Cola. They, they were his sponsors. We, and that sponsorship came to a crashing end when he was caught sipping a Pepsi during a news conference. <laughs> What part yeah. of you have a contract? Do you not understand? <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Don't. Hate it when that happened. Yeah. Yeah. Um, on another subject, 
Did you know that the state sport of Maryland uh-huh. is jousting? So what? <laughs> I think maybe they should update their. Uh, yeah, I think maybe names. they should update the old uh, rule books and the. And the, <laughs> and the do you need? Uh, do you have to make a motion in the House of Representatives? Uh, I hereby move to, to remove jousting as our as our state sport. <laughs> wow, man! Yeah. Yes, here's yes. one for you. This is more linguistics. Okay. Svanger skab sfore bygende bygende middel. Okay. Svanger skab sfor bygende middel. Assuming I haven't butchered that up completely. (laughs) It's the Danish word for condom. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Uh, They couldn't just like uh, lose. uh, It's just, uh, yeah. (laughs) Okay. Right. Well, so um, uh, they've just recently discovered, and this isn't really one of the fun facts. It's just a fact. Um, I wanted to bring you some science news. Science. Uh, They've discovered 120,000-year-old human footprints in Saudi Arabia. Um, Quite amazing. We have been around, at least in in Saudi Arabia, humanity has been around for 120,000 years. You know, rather than, what was it, 5,000 or something? Uh, Yeah, no, we've been around a long time. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, Here's one for you. Listen closely now. 55% of Americans think that they are smarter than the average American. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> I think the math doesn't work on that. Math doesn't quite add up there. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. I, I, I get it, though. I get it, though. Um, uh, they've also... Uh, sorry, in other science news, um, phosphine in the clouds of Venus have been detected. Yeah, I heard about that the other day. Yeah, yeah. And it could be the sign of life because phosphine doesn't last very long in uh, the atmosphere of Venus. And so it must be uh, being replenished. Uh, And the the parts per billion that they've detected really kind of lead to... um, That there might might actually be life. Yeah. uh, Yeah, a biological... um, uh, cause that's so, very cool. I, I, I found that, that very, very interesting. Because if they if they found life in Venus, you know what that means? That means that there's most likely going to be life on Jupiter, right? And maybe yes. even uh, Uranus and Neptune, and pretty much uh, pretty everywhere. much everywhere, everywhere. There's something resembling habitability. Yeah, right? you just need a, a reasonable temperature, and probably. The, <laughs> That's about it. Maybe you need like, water right. vapor or something like that. But uh, well, and, and even I think the, the the whole notion of what what is life has to change, right? And I think that's that's the thing that scientists are struggling with right now: is what is life? What? How do you define life? Uh, they they recently found a cave in Croatia, I think it was somewhere somewhere near near the Baltic states, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, it this, the cave had been sealed off from the outside world for five million years. Right. No air, no light, nothing for five million years the amount of carbon dioxide in that cave would kill most things pretty damn quickly. And yet the place is crawling with life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. To and quote uh, Jeff Goldblum, uh, life finds a way. Life finds a way. Always, always. Cool. So here's one for you. In Greek mythology, it was believed that redheads turned into vampires when they died. <laughs> I'll let you know when I die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm, I'm going to, when you die, I'm wearing garlic. Um. <laughs> All right. All right. So um, uh, SpaceX uh-huh. um, are developing a hypersonic bomber that will give the U.S. decades of air dominance. The SpaceX Starship uh, is... Uh, once it's developed and perfected um, is an incredible um, uh, vehicle uh, that could potentially transform uh, how we um, travel. Yeah, correct. Potentially, you could take an hour trip to the other side of the planet. You know, yeah. it's, it's, yeah. it's ridiculous. New York to Sydney would be a 
pretty quick yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Just, so uh, they do need to perfect it and they are working on it right now. Yeah. And uh, Elon's main goal is really for um, his uh, Mars colony, which, right. uh, you know, sign me up, maybe. Um, but uh, one way trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I might. Uh, I might yeah. that. But um, sorry, I need a return ticket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like my Earth beaches and sunsets and That's stuff like true. that. Thank That's you very much. True. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, it's a dream. And yeah. uh, once you get this, this uh, uh, the the shell because he's doing it out of stainless steel rather than composite materials. Yep. Um, which makes it very cheap. Uh, but once you get that, that 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 down, then the mass production should be super easy, super cheap, super, super easy to re reproduce. Yeah, and you know it's off to the races. So you know, good luck. So here we go, geopolitics. <laughs> Fun facts from geopolitics, brought to you by. <laughs> when Montenegro became independent from Yugoslavia, its <laughs> internet domain name went from dot u y u to dot me. <laughs> I have, I've heard that. Yeah. 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 That was awesome. Yeah. So it's not you it's not, anymore. It's, not, it's, about me. You. it's yeah. not about you. It's me. <laughs> well, I'm out of, I'm out of, uh, uh, yeah, I think, I think we've, I think we've spent people's time, uh, it unwisely again for another right episode. Right yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I kind of feel like clicking clack the tap at brothers. You know, they're, 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 <laughs> don't drive like my brother. Right. Um, uh, so anyway, <laughs> Have yourselves a wonderful weekend. It's uh, another wonderful. Uh, the, the skies here in the Bay Area have cleared up. Finally. Um, finally, yeah. There's, there's been moisture and blue skies in the in, in, the, in the Bay Area. We had so rain. It was amazing. We, we actually had rain, which is yeah. awesome. Uh, so have yourselves a wonderful weekend. Uh, take care of each other. Stay safe. And we'll come back at you and waste your time again next Friday. Talk to you soon. Two blokes and a mic. Out. Bye bye. <laughs>